Praise God, praise God. Pastor Teddy Marshall here at Word Fellowship Ministries. And I just want to take a moment out before I get started with this message just to thank you for, for coming back and giving me another opportunity to share the heart of God. Now, I also want to invite you and to, to require of you <laughs> to share, like, and comment on these different um, this one or any of the others you check out our video library but help me share the word of God and I want to say and I don't want to say let's get the numbers up I don't want to say let's get the numbers up because it's not just about the numbers and me making sure I get some extra likes and all of that stuff that's nice but that's not what this is about I do want to say let's get the numbers up because in getting the numbers up you're helping me in my mission and assignment from God to share the word and that just may be your assignment from him to help share the word to, to share God's heart with others for encouragement and correction and whatever the other things are that the Lord has me share through these messages so let's get the numbers up help me share the heart of God amen okay so the title of today's message is God's love not as man's See, David prayed this prayer, Psalm 142, from which I'm going to uh, read from today. When he, he prayed this prayer when he was in a cave being hunted by Saul. He sounded like many of us may be feeling today or have felt some time in our life, but uh, David was having a moment. And all through Psalms, if you read them, you'll see that there were times that he was pouring his heart out um, regarding whatever was happening to him at the time, but he always came back around to who God was, okay? So, Psalm 142, and I'm going to start at verse 1. And this is the Amplified Classic Version. I cry to the Lord with my voice. With my voice to the Lord do I make supplication. I pour out my, claim, my complaint before him. I tell before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed and fainted, throwing all its weight upon me, then you, Lord God, you knew my path. In the way where I would walk, they have hidden a snare for me. Look on the right hand, the point of contact, and see. For there is no man who knows me to appear for me. Refuge has failed me, and I have no way to flee. No man cares for my life or my welfare. Have you ever felt like that? Verse 5. I cried to you, O Lord. I said, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my loud cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my life out of prison, that I may confess, praise, and give thanks to your name. The righteous will surround me and crown themselves because of me, for you will deal bountifully with me. Amen? So this is the message the Lord gave to me, and I'm going to read it um, because I want to be able to present it verbatim as he gave it to me. Amen? Bewildered are you? At a loss for words, ideas, reasons, and direction? There is no other way out or around the matter swirling around you. I am your I am for all people, places, and things concerning you. Disappointed at the lack of or limited attention or assistance available to you? It is not always evil intent. Their heart may be there, and they may even have made the promise, but circumstances, unforeseen, overlooked, ignored, prevent the follow-up and their follow-through. Hear God say, hear him say to you, amen? Ha, here we go. Don't put that on me. <laughs> Do not attribute that to me, me being God. Hear the heart of the Lord now. Do not base my love, faithfulness, power, and or ability to care for you, heal you, protect you, or provide for you on your own efforts. Do not base my love, faithfulness, power, and or ability to care for you, heal you, protect you, or provide for you on the efforts of others for or toward you, or sometimes against you. Even your or their best, strongest, most committed attempts do not compare cannot come close to who I am and what I can, will, and desire to do for you, to, to, to remedy and resolve what concerns you. I applaud man's, mankind's tenacity, although oftentimes misplaced. Your best is nothing, no match at all to mine. 
You tire, ail, and rage from frustra frustration with hopelessness and helplessness, mocking and tormenting as they wait on the outskirts to pounce and overtake. Oh, but I am God. Hmm. Allow me, allow me, invite me in. Be hospitable as I enter into your life into the situation, into the circumstance, even the celebration, and remain through your surrender, submitting and obeying. You cannot over or outgive me. You cannot over or out help me. You cannot over or out resolve me. You cannot fulfill my promises or enforce my covenant. Allow me. Request and command, which is to speak forth what I say about a thing, what is written of me in my word. My word is your baseline, the foundation, the gauge for all things. Request and command, which is to speak into existence what I reveal is my plan with my ways and means. Allow me, I am God. Listen for me, fellowshipping with me, becoming one with me. Allow me, require my assistance in the allowing. Yes, require me and of me as your necessity, the water to refresh you, the air to revive you. I am God. I am your God. Allow me. I will, I will lead you in the plan, my plan and its specifics, the details. Ask of me and listen. Ask of me and do. Ask of me and I will help you, lead you and teach you. I will bring you through not just send you through and hope you make it all right. I will lead you through, usher you through, be with you through it all. Allow me to be your Lord, your God, your Father, your Dad, your I Am. Father God, we thank you for this message. Just, and we've heard it before and it's been said before, but Lord, it doesn't diminish the impact and power that you intend to reach our hearts with. <sighs> Please forgive us, Father God, for sinning against you and not fully giving our hearts, surrendering to you and submitting to you. Please forgive us, Father God, for the times that we tried to make it right. And even in our best efforts, we didn't want to disappoint you. We wanted to follow through, but we neglected to come to you for the how, the ways, the means to do it. Please forgive us, sir. Holy Spirit, we come and ask that you will just be you do you in our lives leading teaching guiding helping us along the way comforting us all in it and all through it lord god we thank you for your omniness your omniscience all knowing your omnipresence always there and always with us and your omnipotence all power and that that power because you're in us that power your power is in us as well. So we can do the things you have set for us to do. We can accomplish the things you have set for us to do, but we can't do any of it. Not on the level you have set for us without you. Lord, forgive us in, in harboring any kind of animosity or unforgiveness in our hearts toward those who did not come through as they said or were unable to, or maybe they ghosted us because they didn't know how to tell us, I can't do that for you. Lord, help us to forgive those and have your heart toward them. We ask you to bless those people, Father God. You know what they need. You know where they are. In that, we ask you to bless them. Not that they get great big houses and cars and all of that stuff, but bless them where they are, healing their hearts so that they can come into the presence of you, the knowledge of you, and the glory of you. So Father, thank you for hearing us this day. And thank you once again this message could be a check for some. This message could be encouragement for some. And this message could just be the, the, the courage to take another step, to continue in the way of the Lord. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all I have for you today. Let this message marinate in your heart and go forth in the love, the wisdom, and compassion of God and the forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.